It's that man again. Waiting for this barnacle of achievement in the mayor's parlor, we find. Father's pride and joy, Mrs. Handy's boy. Oh, it's useless to complain. Oh, 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 Right. Tell you what, let's cut out the middle bit, shall we? Get rid of the o nuts in healthy, come much bowling in thee, and just call ourselves Dover instead. That'll fool the enemy. What, what a jolly good idea! idea. Silly citizens, it's supposed to be a secret. The you know who's will launch their you know what's at donuts and healthy come much bowling in the over. And they'll miss. I was handling your staples, Mr. Handy. Oh, that was a bit risky, wasn't it? You don't know where they've been. I know where you should be. Are you aware that you've a three o'clock on the west? Oh, you lot are a load of sad old wrinkles, aren't you? What makes you think anyone out there doesn't remember? Larry the Lamb, or Dennis the Dash Hand, or Uncle Mac, or... Oh, I did so enjoy Children's Hour. Sorry, Mr. Clark. Yes, we've brought you chain of office. There you are, Mr. Handy. No resignation for you. You'll be chained to the office. Galloping grape nuts. What am I supposed to do with that? Tether the fleet or pull it? <laughs> Silly mare. It goes round your neck like this. Oh, isn't that lovely? Doesn't that look lovely, Neville? Lovely garden. Oh, it just needs adjusting just a teensy weensy bit this way, I think. <laughs> oh, no, garden. A teensy bit this way. Oh, hard to starboard. <laughs> Brilliant performance there uh, by the Blackfish Academy with their interpretation of Itmar. It's that man again, of course, famous radio programme from the 1940s.